up YouTube, it's Joe Gas, and welcome to part two on how to make your own custom professional YouTube layout with the new channel. Now, obviously you guys are interested in making this since you've gone to part two with me, and that's good. So, now what we're going to want to do is, again, make a new layer. And now we're going to hold down over here and get our rounded rectangle tool out. Or you could use whatever you really want to be your base. To be as your base. And you're just going to want to get around the edges here, guys. And pretty much try your best to make this as straight as possible. And even as possible. So there we go. Now, what we pretty much did was create uh, the layout itself. Now what we can do is delete the first one. So now we just have this. Okay. Now also what I'm going to do is drag in, is put this new picture I got off the same website, yablayouts.com. Or we could use, make it, keep it black. I mean, I think it looks nice black. And here we have this. Now what we're going to want to do is make sure it, your layers looks like this. Everything in order like this. Is click and click create clipping mask. Now, if you noticed, what that did was it pretty much took this image and transformed it into the exact shape of the layer we just made. And that looks, uh, I don't know if the colors go good. Yeah, they actually do. Now I sort of look at it, I think it pretty really, pretty, um, looks really nice. So, now I'll double click on this. Um, maybe do a, um, what was it again? A drop shadow put that in the middle make the distance and the spread the size change everything to your personal liking and so what that did was pretty much make like a shadow around the um, around the background we could also add an outer glow and make that white oh outer glow is actually what we would want to make black but white would be okay and you know now we have this this looks insane in my opinion so now what we want to do is sort of fade it to what your background color is going to be what your main YouTube background color is going to be now um, some of you don't know what I'm talking about, but everyone will eventually know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to go click on the first one, Edit Transform Scale, and drag this out because it didn't scale to the edge, which is something I forgot to do. And now let's check on the other side, and now we got it perfect. All right, so now what we're going to want to do is click on this layer, go down to the bottom, and pretty much brush this of what we want our background main thing to be. So mine's going to be black. I take the brush tool, and I'm going to choose um, pretty much the fade brush, um, this one, and I just adjust the size to how I like it. This is okay right now. And now what I'm going to do is pretty much just go like this. Go to our other end, do the same thing. And this is just going to blend it in, guys. This is just making it look a lot nicer. 
you don't have to do this, but this is just for a little bit more professionality. I'm going to raise this and pretty much make that a little bit higher. Do the same for this. And now I'll go back to this layer and OK. And now we're going to want to brush uh, Edit Undo. We're going to want to do this layer and then brush this. It's 7.30. Okay. Now, we're pretty much done. Stay tuned for part three on saving your YouTube layout and putting it on your YouTube account. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a nice day.